ci troviamo a Roma in occasione di un incontro organizzato dalla International Osteoporosis Foundation per fare il punto sullo stato dell'assistenza della cura dell'osteoporosi nei 27 paesi dell'Unione Europea e per capire quali sono i problemi da affrontare e possibilmente da risolvere. Facciamo il punto su questi aspetti col professor Jean-Yves Register, presidente della Società Europea per gli aspetti clinici ed economici di osteoporosi e osteoartrosi. Allora, professor Register, which are the main problems in Europe regarding the assistance and the cure of, of, of osteoporosis from a global perspective uh, such as you are? Well, the main problems in Europe in the management of osteoporosis relate to three main areas. The first area is the awareness. Very few women realize that they are at high risk of osteoporosis. Osteoporosis hits one woman out of two, but less than 10% of the women realize that they might be at risk of osteoporosis. So awareness is the first problem. The second problem is related to the access of screening technology. Osteoporosis can be very easily diagnosed by a test called bone densitometry, which measures the content of calcium in the skeleton. But in many countries, not enough, up, not enough devices are available, and in many countries, this examination is not reimbursed, which decreases the access of the population to bone densitometry. And eventually, in many countries, medications against osteoporosis are not reimbursed so that patients do not have access, even if they are at high risk to exhibit with a fracture. So which are the, the main area of Im the main action you could do, your society and IUF could do to improve the, the, the assistance and the cure of osteoporosis? Well, IUF should work in increasing the awareness of osteoporosis in the general population, but also at the level of the politician, those who take the decision to reimburse oste osteoporosis densitometric uh, devices or osteoporosis drug and who also can make osteoporosis a national health priority.